Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a very long flip through of some of my weekly spreads in my Hobonichi Cousin for 2022. So if you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Thanks everyone. I guess I should start off by apologizing in advance for the fact that this is going to be a very long video <laughs> because I haven't been posting as frequently or engaging as much as I normally do and the reason for that is that life has been kind of crazy and unfortunately YouTube and uh, planning has definitely suffered and so you'll see that with some of my more recent spreads where it was a little bit uh, lacking <laughs> and a little more empty but I did cover the 21st week here in a previous video so I'll try to speed through it as quickly as I can so what I loved about this spread um, this is probably the last spread before things got crazy um, what I loved about this was that I got to base it off these really cute sticky club uh, stickers that have this of course this beautiful glitter effect that I absolutely adore and what I loved about them was that um, you know typically these colors or this color scheme is associated more with like the fall and autumn so I love that in the middle of May I was able to utilize these colors to um, decorate one of my spreads use some of my washi tape that I hauled many years ago from Michaels and never used so I love the way that I was able to pair those pair it with some of my um, happy planner stickers and also brush pens as well so as you can see here, oh, I guess I did track my meals in the following week, um, but definitely as it became more busy, I stopped tracking my meals on a daily basis. So I actually think that I stayed home this week, which is probably why I was able to fill in a lot of the things that I did during the day. Um, you'll notice that my style or lack of style is really trying to track what I did in the day. So for example, Thursday, which apparently I went to work, <laughs> Um, because we had a party for Andrea. She was leaving the office, so I wrote that here. It's not exactly the time that the party occurred, <laughs> although I try, I try in some cases to put, um, when I can, those appointments where they belong. However, I, I did not here, so I, I don't. And I cooked chicken and broccoli this day, did some laundry, and baked some cookies on Thursday as well, and then had class, so you'll see that here. And then I use this section down below for um, just journaling and reflecting on the week. So that takes us into the 22nd week here. And I actually have my Hobonichi weeks just below so I can do a side-by-side -side comparison. But what I loved about this spread was that I felt that while the colors were more relaxed and um, just really, I really love this color scheme of just this beautiful light mint color, this light beige, this light gray and light blue. Um, I was inspired by these sticky club stickers here um, from the, hmm, was it, I want to call it a farmer market theme, but I think it was mushroom picnic. <laughs> and uh, I'll show you here. So I like to use my favorite stickers in my Hobonichi Weeks weekly spreads first, and then anything that's left over, I like to tie it into my weekly spreads and my Hobonichi Cousin, and then in my daily spreads. So that's what you'll see here. This is the matching 22nd week of my Hobonichi Weeks, where she, <laughs> this little girl, has this beautiful floral dress on and like denim, denim overalls, coveralls. And then also I paired it with some of my Recollections washi tape here with this floral print. And I love that this has like this very fine detail, gold foiling detail here and little finger sandwiches. But once again, using the same brush pens, pretty much this light blue, this mint green here to tie into this spread as well. What I loved about this though, is that I was able to tie in a lot of different um, sticky club sticker sheets while still keeping it somewhat cohesive. And then I was also able to utilize some of my Happy Planner stickers as well. So you'll see that here um, with this Happy Friday. And it happens to have like glasses as well. So I actually went to the eye doctor and thought that was a perfect match. Some of my Planner Sash stickers and then some Paper Studio stickers as well. Alright, so that's what I had here. And then just moving on into the 23rd week. So over here, I, if I recall correctly, I spent a lot of time in the office this week, which meant that I didn't have 
very much time to, I guess, update and journal. So you'll notice that this week I don't have a journaling section, but I did want to keep in mind some things that I got done. So I actually went to Warby Parker for the very first time here on Monday. I thought it was the most amazing thing in the world and actually purchased my first pair of Warby Parker glasses. And to be honest, I was, now that I've been through the process, I'm not really that impressed. Um, I felt that it was lacking in the sense that I have a nice, very like close relationship with not only my eye doctor, but also the people that like work in her office that is missing in Warby Parker. Um, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. They took all of my measurements and things and my prescription, everything while I was in the like in their store and then they lost everything for some reason and the order didn't go through so I was back and forth with them for a couple weeks by email um, before I kind of lost my patience and called them and they were finally able to rush the order through and then I wasn't very happy with like the pricing nor um Apologize. my dog's crying because my husband's not home yet um, but uh, yeah I just wasn't impressed so I would love to hear your thoughts about Warby Parker it was it just my one-off experience should I give them another shot uh, once I return my glasses which is what I plan on doing or should I go back to my old eye doctor I don't know so anyways love to hear your thoughts I'm definitely going back to my old eye doctor but I just don't know if I should buy my glasses online from a different retailer or I don't know I just really don't know <laughs> but anyways that's what I have here I made this sticker on Procreate or I designed it on Procreate and made it on my Cricut machine and love that I was able to utilize the rest of these kind of like farmer market themed stickers from the sticky club and pair it with some of these to mark um, to jot some thoughts down and mark some of my doctor's appointments as well I love these stickers I think they I'm not really sure where they came from <laughs> but we had ramen that night and sushi so I thought that was uh, really great to be able to, and, and tacos here as you can see <laughs> great so then I have a few more weeks here that I'd like to share with you all. Um, so <laughs> hang in there. I know this is a long video. Anyways, before we go any further, I do want to take a moment to thank you all so very much for taking the time to watch my video today. As always, I so very much appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, I would so very much appreciate it if you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. All right, so this week I was in training from Monday through Thursday. So I was so busy in the office. And uh, by the time the day was over, my husband and I would run some errands on the way home. And I was just so pooped that I didn't get to actually do anything. So there's a lot of empty space because even when I tried to fill it, I didn't know what to fill it with. <laughs> so that's what I have here. I do really love these Sticky Club sticker sheets that I use. Um, this is one here where it says like paint the town, which is, I was hoping that it would inspire me to use some paint this week. This one as well. I don't know if you can see that it's also gold foiled. Uh, it did not. It did inspire me. I just didn't have the time to. Um, yeah. And then I paired it with some of my happy planner stickers here. Look on the bright side. Cause I was having a really hard time sitting through training this week. <laughs> so anyways, and then I played around with this idea of like using my brush pens to, but well, okay, two things. Um, so I have these Archer and Olive Calligraph pens. I don't have handy right now, but they're both yellow. And I don't know if you guys have had this problem where like the tip looks very neon or like a different color. And then once you start, you put it to paper, it changes color. Anyways, they, they look very similar. Um, on the cap and then when I paired them up one was actually orange and one was yellow so anyways I tried to um, blend them together and see if we could do like a gradient effect um, so that was kind of fun <laughs> and then also like the two different sides of the calligraph pens were different colors not necessarily even of the same like tone so that was that's just kind of fun me <laughs> But yeah, so that's basically this. This just shows how busy I was and that I had no time. So I actually just slapped this one together. I slapped this together um, actually on this um, maybe Sunday, but basically at the end of the week. Um, I referenced my spread from my Hobonichi, Hobonichi weeks, which I would love to share with you all so you can see a quick comparison of the two different spreads. I think it's this one where I use the same like gold um, bordered owl slash woodland themed picnic themed mushroom themed 
all of the above um, stickers as the base for my spread. And uh, yeah, so I, I set up my wigs first and then use whatever leftover, what is left over here, and then use the same um, calligraph or brush pens here as well to tie into these stickers. Um, I wanted to mark the federal holiday of Juneteenth here. I journaled a little bit here about trying to be more productive and how I've been feeling more productive, although maybe not knocking off as many tasks. I'm definitely getting the ones I need to get done first. Um, I attended a Yankee game here sometime this week, so I just did um, some scrapbooking here and took my husband's um, wristband and kind of just glued it in. took the opportunity to use some of my Happy Planner stickers. I, I'm already tired tomorrow. I thought that was funny. And then um, just mark the classes that I'm taking and love these really large Happy Planner stickers. Like saying forever chasing the sun because it was so sunny this weekend in New York. And then marking that we had taco night here on Sunday because we actually found a pretty decent place for horchata by my house which is like unbelievable and it's really funny but that's one marker or like indicator for my husband and I as to whether or not we're going to like them first of all I am like a loco <laughs> for horchata I don't know why um it kind of sometimes tastes like rice to me which I, I don't know it's a made of rice and which I love rice of course um and cinnamon and just super sweet and just refreshing but I, I don't know I just love horchata and so this place had horchata, it's brand new, and the food was actually pretty good as well. So I actually look forward to trying it out one of these days in person. So that's what I have marked here. And I love that like these little stickers from all of my random sticker books kind of like strike a memory for me. So here, of course, like for <laughs> the fact that I was at Walmart for like an hour that day because my husband was helping a coworker move. Um, so this, this like the Walmart here and block lettering and then little shopping cart uh, just clicks for me. And then here I wrote birth, burp cloth because I spent this day uh, making burp cloths for my cousin who is expecting in the end of July. All right, so this brings us to our final thread here, which is this current week. As you can see, I was expecting that this week would be very, very busy. So I tried to fill it up in the front end so that I would feel less stress and uh, I guess pressure to try to fill this in the back end or during the week. So what I did was I used a lot of my Happy Planner stickers, some of my sim simply, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. <laughs> My dog's crying because daddy's not home. It's so sad. Actually, I, I will definitely give her belly rubs after this. So I wanted to use a lot of my, so I utilize a lot of my larger Happy Planner stickers here to take up some space. Try to, trying to tie into this weekly, my most recent weekly spread in my Hobonichi weeks. So based off of these like gamer computer themed um, sticky club stickers. So I'll just show you a quick comparison between the two. This is my em more empty, like basic, I guess, spread that I'm slowly filling in as the week progresses. I use my favorite stickers in my Hobonichi weeks and whatever is left over, I move over here. I definitely tried to tie in some of these Simply Gilded um, washi here to try to use the same ones and add pop of color to the page and take up some space. So I did a lot of reading um, actually on Sunday and because I had already filled it out I just tied it in here to this left column here and then I also added this washi tape not realizing that I wouldn't be able to write on it but that's okay. I think it definitely adds some color and like frames out the page. Absolutely love. This is like has to be one of my favorite absolute favorite washi tapes from Simply Gilded okay girl almost done um yeah and then i took the opportunity to jot down some of the things that i need to get done before this holiday weekend so i had created this little chores list using my happy planner sticker here and my zig clean color dot marker for little bullets i do have a doctor's appointment on wednesday afternoon so not only did i put the time here oh <laughs> gotta get down girl it's okay yeah, and then I used a bunch of stickers to mark a birthday that we'll be celebrating this weekend and a weekend adventure. 
but that's basically it so i just wanted to once again thank you so much if you're still here for sticking around for this very long flip through i apologize for <laughs> um, not being so consistent lately and i hope to see you all again soon bye everyone